Oh great, more of this new stuff. You know, last time that came on, the Midnight Channel wasn't far behind. That concludes Risei Kujikawa's statement regarding her temporary leave of absence from the entertainment industry. We're short on time, so if anyone has any remaining questions, we ask that you please keep them brief. But keep them juicy, because we'll certainly air those ones. I'm Ishioka from Ladies View. It says here that you'll be recuperating. Are you facing physical problems? No, my health isn't an issue. Psychological problems, then? What? Rumor has it you'll be staying with your relatives, but isn't that in Inaba where the murders have been taking place? Huh? Um... Is it true that they run a traditional tofu shop? Will you be helping out with the family business? No more questions. This press conference is over. Clear the way, please! Oh, those paparazzi seem to know everything about her. Is Risei-chan quitting her job on TV? You seem to know who that is. Who knows? But if this is her hometown, we'll have to deal with everyone who's trying to get a glimpse. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> oh, so that ad was her. Calorie magic is made for those worried about their calorie intake and body fat. It'll slim you down in no time. By the way, you can actually get this as an item in the game. Risei Kujikawa, huh? The one good thing about this town was that it had nothing of note. Now we get all the buzz. What's going on? It definitely seems like a whole lot of strange stuff is happening in this town right now. From a sleepy town where nothing really happened to suddenly everything. Yo. Biker gangs getting beaten up, idols coming to town, not to mention the murders. And uh, if the family business comment from Namatama was any indication, it seems like his family is from around here too. Well, um, yeah, there's a celebrity coming to town. We might want to take cover. Because the streets are going to be crawling with camera. Wait a minute. Wasn't Adachi talking about a suspicious person taking photos before? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yo. Look at that guy with blue hair engrossing his phone over in the corner. Hey, there he is! You've been coming to school pretty often lately. What's up? Uh, he's just, you know, being a normal kid. It's this annoying thing called the mandatory attendance policy. But man, seeing you here kind of reminds me of the school campout. No, don't you ever mention the school campout. We made a pact to never mention that ever again. I thought we were all going to forget about what happened. Oh, sorry. <sighs> eh, whatever. So hey, you guys see the news? News? Oh, that stuff about Risei Kujikawa taking a break from showbiz? I wonder why. She was just getting popular lately. Just goes to prove that being an idol is tough work. So, sounds like being an idol isn't that easy. Just like being a princess isn't that easy. You know, Risei is pretty great. You think so too? It hasn't been that long since her debut, but at this rate, she'll be a top class idol in no time. To be honest, I'm a fan too. She's such a cutie pie! Well, um, um, women who want to punch Yosuke count plus one. A cutie pie? What are you, 80? But I think she used to live here, so she must have a lot of local fans. The news said she's going to her grandmother's tofu shop, right? We've actually seen that tofu shop. It's in the central shopping district. Do they mean Maruku? Maruku? Maruku tofu. Our inn was serving their tofu until recently. Oh, that place in the shopping district. I pass by it all the time. Wait, does that mean I can meet Risei if I go to her tofu shop? Again, she's subconsciously heard you talking about her creepily, so um, you can get punched anytime you want. That's what that means. Hey, aren't we getting a little sidetracked from the point here? Did you forget about the murders? You're the one who said the connection between the victims might be the TV. 
She could be the next target. Come on, it's not like Risa has started showing up on TV just recently. Also, how could Risa be connected to the incident so far? Well, that's what Dojima was saying. Suddenly, everything's happening in this town. I wondered the same thing, so I did some research. It seems that she had no personal interaction with Miss Yamano. They've just been on the same show once or twice. But that might be enough of a connection, considering how Kanji got targeted for being the son of someone who sold her a scarf. She's been an idol for a while now, but she's the talk of the town thanks to the news last night. And she is moving here after all. So if our assumptions are correct, she fits the pattern. She'll probably be targeted next. We are at least getting better about figuring out the next target. I mean, we haven't even seen anyone on the Midnight Channel yet. And if she is, that narrows down the killer's methods even further. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Kanji-kun, listen real carefully. If Rise is next, then that lets us rule out our theory that the targets have to be connected with the first case. And that means the killer's targets are people who have been shown on TV recently. Get it now? Huh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, we have to keep a close eye on everything Rise does. And so Yosuke turned into a Let's stalker. Do it. Sheesh, he's all pumped up. But let's forget about that and go to normal classes. Oh really, you'd be surprised. You know, some people want to prevent them from getting married at all. Yeah, the Meiji era was when Japan finally opened up after its, um, centuries-long isolationism. It's actually a really, really interesting period. I would recommend looking it up. It's, it's, yeah. But, um, yeah, we gotta remember, um, the Meiji era. Taisho, I believe, is what came after Meiji. Of course, in the Raido Kuzunoha universe, the Taisho era lasted longer than it did in actual history. And people debate whether or not the Raiden or Kuzunoha universe is canon to the Persona universe, but I'll get to that much later. Still no closer to an increase in knowledge. Okay, so this is happening on the exact same day that the guide said it would, so maybe it isn't random. We need to say that we'll ditch class. Don't worry, this actually will not use up the afternoon. So, ditching class with I, I kind of wanted to talk about something regarding it. So, people call this playing hooky in America. That's actually not a term we use in Australia. Back when I was a kid, the term for skipping school was wagging. I don't hear anybody use that term now. But, like, often when someone was sick and away from school, you get just people around my class going, Oh, is he wagging? But, yeah, I guess that's a, um... That's just, uh, your Australian cultural lesson for today. <laughs> well, I don't even really know what Yu's relationship with his mother is like. Yeah, you've been managing the sports club, despite not really doing anything. You know, I get the feeling we're going to be reduced to a living pack mule. Of course. People in the comments said that she's actually voiced by Julianne Taylor, apparently, and if that's the case, wow, does she get typecast as Sundares with hidden depths. <laughs> I, I mean, I isn't so much a Sundere exactly, but she's kind of similar to a lot of the characters Julianne Taylor has played, like Severa, Josette from Trails in the Sky. Uh, 
Oh, okay then. Huh, that sounds a lot like Bo's father in Critical Role now that I think about it. But yeah, she comes from a wealthy family. You know, we need to find somewhere to hide these bags then, quickly. Keep you around doesn't exactly sound good, but we've made a new acquaintance and you know what that means. The moon is one of the cards Igor drew for us at the start of our journey, and as I said there, it's typically not a good one to see in a reading. It represents fear, anxiety, uncertainty, illusions, falsehoods and trickery. But it has a few positive meanings attached to it as well, the subconscious, imagination and intuition. Characters representing these arcana in the Persona series tend to have difficulty being and accepting themselves, and feel they need to emulate others to achieve recognition. In keeping with its negative meanings, Personas of the Moon arcana tend to be outright malevolent or at the very least dangerous entities in mythology, and in gameplay terms they're often mixed physical and magical attackers, at least in Persona 4. After meeting her through strength and agreeing to skip school with her once, which requires rank 3 courage, you gain access to Ai Ebihara's social link, and it's a very unique one. You might notice that she's a girl around the protagonist's age, but I haven't shown any of the ranks in pink. That's because the moon social link has a very unique element to it that I really don't want to spoil yet. If you are not familiar with the way the Moon Social Link works in this game, let's just say you might be surprised. It's going to be a lot harder to hide these bags now. So today if you talk to everyone around school, they're generally going to be saying, well, things either about the school camp out or about Reese. Um, <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel that too. Well, something tells me the cultural festival is going to be a little bit more interesting, but um, we, well, you know, I know out of universe the reasons why. Yeah, so pretty much everyone is going to be screaming about Rosette. In the anime, there's actually a segment where um, you helped her run away from the paparazzi, and it's pretty cool. But I'm guessing you still only have eyes for senpai. Yes, that reminder was extremely helpful. Not. We're going to accept our next quest from the fox now. So, our first request for a pass rank 5. Well, that one's depressing. I wish my life had meaning again. The thing is, the person who requested this is actually someone that we don't know, but we have actually heard of. 
That is, if you've been diligent in doing side quests. Because they're actually the person who owns the model shop that closed down. Here he is. Yeah, I used to make a lot of plastic models when I was a kid, and I, I still do sort of some models now. And I did do some gunpla back in uh, my early university days. So I definitely understand this guy. So, yeah, remember that uh, girl at school who was saying that it'd be weird if um, someone just gave you a model out of nowhere? Well, that's what's gonna happen now. So we get the unfinished model. We're gonna have to spend several nights putting that one together. Well, that sucks. Hopefully you see eye to eye later. We're going to be doing today's Hangout with Yosuke, and I'm pretty sure we have more than enough points. We also have Waffle, so we are going to get bonus points with him. All right. I think another guide is higher with Yosuke right now, but um, I still prefer the way this one does things. Oh, it's this rank. Okay, then. I remember a certain line from this one. Yeah, that's typically not the case, uh, see Junpei. So yeah, it's either A or C gives you the most points here. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, um, the uh, great thing to talk about over breakfast. Happy Nurse Waifu Hentai Adventures. <laughs> Reflecting on his past. And, um, by the way, yeah, guess which option gives you the most points here. For reals? We're just rubbing it in his face over the whole, um, failed bay pun thing. Hey, big bro. Yeah, let's also not talk about uh, what we were just talking about. We were talking about completely child-friendly things. Huh, there's a Miwa-chan in, um, in P5, but I'm pretty sure there's someone different, because they still seem to be, uh, a child in that game, and, um, they would be older if, um, they really were Nanako's age right now. You say that right after Operation Babe Hunt happens, but yeah, that's actually because that event was golden only. Uh, something like that. This is another example that makes it kind of obvious that, um... Yeah, social links in the main story were written by different people, but also the fact that that scene was added to Golden and they didn't change this to compensate. But then again, you can do this rank up at any point. You could theoretically do this a long time before you did um, Dave Hunt 2.0. So, pretty much just kind of similar, we have to solve the case. And we're determined to do so, but now he's so determined that he can cure status ailments. Yes, Persona, the one series where you can cure poison by punching someone in the face. The Young Men's Association. 
That sounds a little bit suspicious. I'll leave it up to your imagination what you keeps under there. See you later. Welcome back. This evening, there's not going to be that much that we'll do. We're going to go ahead and finish off the punk's way, which weirdly enough raises expression. Oh, speaking of punks, uh. Well, we're actually going to be going to the TV very soon, let's just say. Don't worry, this this segment of daily life in between the dungeons is going to be over quite soon. But we still have a couple more days first. And I'm really looking forward to the 24th, for certain reasons. So, significant boost to those. And it's raining and we think Risei might be targeted. That doesn't bode well. Midnight Channel Season 3 might be on soon. And so there's really not a ton to do today, except my notes do say there's a unique fusion forecast, so I'm going to go and check that out. Bonus Social Link Experience, Bonus Stats, Bonus Recovery Skill. And it affects anything you fuse today, which is pretty cool. So gonna go with a Precious Persona for this because it's one of my higher social links. Thus I'll get a pretty good benefit out of the bonus social link experience. And I get three elements along with Resist Physical and Invigorate 2. Very nice magic and agility on this Persona as well. Aha, we can snap two Invigorates. I'll probably just get rid of that. Dodge fire is... Uh, well, it's not terrible. And I don't exactly want Trafuri. And even more stats, and Medea, why do you keep giving me such a low rank skill? I guess it depends on the Persona's level. I think I'll get rid of Mazio. It's kind of nice to have healing sometimes. And I checked and neither of the things that I fused into that were things that I'm going to need later in the week. And we're going to be doing Mega Beef Bowl again today, and the stats we're looking for are Understanding, Knowledge, and Courage. Ah, almost. There we go. And no coin about Ica that time. And a warning that you probably want to save tonight, because starting tomorrow, there are going to be some very long plot cutscenes. Actually, something that I just realized, I forgot to show this with some of the other vegetables, but if you press see vegetable explanations, there's actually lore on all of the different vegetables you can grow. So that's pretty cool. But for now, it's time to check the Midnight Channel once more. Though I think we all know what's going to appear. Um, you can tell it's a swimsuit with that unclear a picture. Well, at least you're getting better at recognizing the silhouettes, though Rise's hair is is very easy to notice. 
Yes, for some reason. It's totally not the fact that they're, um, using gratuitous fan service to get people to watch. Yosuke, um, down, boy. That was reset for sure. Reset Kujikawa! Thought so. Oh, I guess I should be so excited. There's a chance she might get kidnapped. <laughs> I like the way that his voice just completely changes tone there. Come on, we should go there tomorrow. Oh, what was it called again? Uh, oh yeah, Maruku Tofu. Dude, my heart's pounding already. We'll see you tomorrow. Now remember Yosuke, we're seeing her because she might be kidnapped. Don't go all celebrity freakout mode. In the anime, he's in full celebrity freakout mode this whole time, and it's kind of hilarious. I, I forgot how um how over the top he got. <laughs> 